The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, I rise to mark the important occasion of World Autism Day in this chamber. Under the leadership of the Actually Autistic Community in Autism Nova Scotia, there is a full month of opportunities to be part of Autism Acceptance Month in Nova Scotia. It runs for the remainder of April and is about promoting and understanding acceptance and inclusion in our communities. In my own family, I'm beyond privileged to count a smart, brave, fun, talented, neurodivergent nephew, Hugh Garber, who in his few short years on this earth has taught our family, his peers, and the larger community so much about being actually autistic and about what it means to have a truly inclusive community and family and why it's so important. And where Hugh leaves off, his mother, Allie, picks up. As a busy mother and professional, she has not hesitated to throw herself into organizing and advocating on behalf of autistic families across this province, most recently in Ottawa this week with Autism Nova Scotia and just this morning on national television. Not stopping at advocating for inclusion for her own family, her efforts have touched so many more. I ask that the members of this House join me in celebrating Autism Acceptance Month and the thousands of Nova Scotian families we market for.